Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This was supposed to be a London Fashion Week vlog, but I have a feeling that Fashion Week is cancelled. <laughs> um, well, it's not technically, like none of the shows are cancelled, but for me personally, I skipped a show this morning because we are currently experiencing Storm Eunice in the UK. And typically when storms happen in the UK, London isn't really affected. It's normally places outside of London that get affected so it's like we never really feel the impact but this storm is specifically targeting London like the O2 arena is ripped apart I'll insert a picture the O2 arena is like a big stadium like I was there for the Brits a couple of weeks ago it's like a big stadium a lot of events happen that's like a ripped torn um a bin flew into True's car today <laughs> on his way like driving to me there's it's just chaos but right now we're going to a showroom which is close to it's not too far from me so we're going there and then basically i booked a hotel in like central london just because um the day was going to be really hectic and i thought for true it'd be good for him to have a base and for me to have a base to go and get ready because i had loads of shows planned so i booked this hotel for this weekend um and obviously it's non-refundable so i thought we might as well make the most of it go to the hotel have a little staycation and to try and go to the shows that i can go to like ones that aren't too far and if the wind does calm down then obviously go to those ones um but yeah i'm just gonna play it by is it play by ear play it by wind <laughs> play it by wind <laughs> i'm gonna play it by wind kind of see what the situation is so this is what i'm wearing today my jacquemus blazer these pants are from mango Guys, just as I was coming into this hotel, this big thing fell and almost hit someone. It's really That's hectic cool. and a bit scary. <laughs> My mango pants, my got boots from office, and then my vintage Chanel bag. It's a very basic warm outfit. But this setup is so cute, like the lighting is amazing because you have all of these windows and then these are the boots. So Dear Francis do the best boots ever, they're really comfortable. And I'm loving the colourful boots as well. This is amazing. So guys, we've lost an attachment to our camera. What are we doing? I here? dropped it when we were leaving the house to go into the car. It fell and it, the mic must have fallen off. Because so of the wind, the wind made it fall. Yeah, so it might sound windy right now. This is when we need it the most. I know, it, but it fell because of the wind. The camera fell because of the wind. We've lost the mic. I've just come back from presentation. We're going to grab something to eat and then I have, we have to go to the hotel because I'm actually going to go to a show. So we're at Padella, our favourite pasta place. And it was nearby the um, De Francis showroom. So it made sense to come here to grab some lunch. True is currently on Amazon looking for a replacement mic that I lost. <laughs> well, it's because the wind is blame it on the storm. The storm made me drop the camera and then the mic on the camera that's attached fell off. So we've got gnocchi first and then we've got two other pastas coming. How are you feeling today, True? Good. I'm feeling very stressed. Are you? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm alright. Okay, should let's be taste this. I know we're, we show this place we all the time. We eat this all the time, yeah. So this is a new item on the menu. It's our first time trying it. What do you think? Do you know what this is giving me a vibes of? It's nice, I like it. It's giving me like a subtle potty shoulder. Taste it. So we just checked in. What are we gonna do now, Mary? Um so what was the 13th floor, right? Yeah. Um unpack, I need to touch on my makeup, fix my hair because it's been ruined by the wind. Um and then see what show I can go to. Um I have one for five o'clock, but I don't think I'll make that because it's currently quarter to five. But then I have another show at 6 p.m., then a show at 8.30 p.m. And then cool. dinner, potentially with a special guest. Do you know what I was saying? Like, the weather is so nice, like the yeah, sun like is the out. Yeah, the sun is out. But it's so windy. This is like our third time here. At this hotel, yeah. Yeah, the first time was a press day. So it was in one of the Vlogmas episodes. Oh, this is a nice view. Yeah. So we were upgraded to the city view. Let's do a room tour before we mess this up. So yeah, we walked in. Massive, massive mirror. So this is the bathroom. This is our go-to place because it's very convenient. Um, they have parking as well. Yeah. And it's just like a tidy, clean space. Yeah, and it's close to everywhere. It's in um, 
I think we said Slava, but but Tru used to live here, near here. <laughs> so it's a very familiar area and close to everything. So right now, Tru is just editing some content that we have to go live for next week. I just uploaded my Vashi post. Um, once that picture here, as so you guys can see, it's a picture, it's what we did at the beach. We did a beach shoot. The camera's just facing true working. Um, tech neck. Uh, we did a beat shoot and we've just uploaded the pictures now and True's editing now another campaign that we have done um, just before we head out to an event and then a show. So the sun has set now. It's like around, what's the time now? Six. It's 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go to the Woodward store for an event and then after that, I'm gonna go to a show. Um, I think I'm gonna meet Nuria at the Woodward event. Nuria was in my Copenhagen fashion vlog, if you seen that, if you saw that. Um, so I'm gonna meet up with her, which is always nice. When you go to events and you kind of know someone is gonna be there, um, it's always nicer. So I'm gonna go meet up with her there, then head off to the show from there and then go for dinner. Um, and I'll bring you guys along. Today was actually quite a chill day. My schedule was not so chill. My schedule was actually at back to back, but because of the storm, um, we kind of just decided to take it easy. It's just really hectic. Like I already did damage with the camera. The camera fell. Oh, we found our mic by the way. It didn't actually fall. The mic didn't come off when I f when the camera fell in the wind. It fell off when I was at the Dear Francis event. So I think what might have happened was when I f when the camera fell, it must have dislodged it. I think that's what it was. And it was probably like loose. And then obviously I went to the Dear Francis event and it probably just fell off there. Um, but yeah, someone found it. So thank God, because <laughs> I was a little bit stressed about the fact that I lost the mic. Um, so that's good. So we're gonna get the mic back. Tomorrow will be like a nice chill day. So we can just have you guys do stuff. And then I'll have a little chat with you guys there about my life update. I've decided I'm going to do the life update section in this video, not have one whole separate video on it because it's so dramatic. But it's basically just to chat to you guys about how my, the way I've shopped has changed and like getting off my chest, how I've been feeling because I know I've been making like a lot more luxury purchases um, and I haven't been doing as many high street hauls as I used to. And that's just because my mindset and the way I've shopped has changed a lot. And I feel like a lot of people have the same thing. Like even now in the comments I get on my videos, like on my recent mango haul, although I did put like a disclaimer in the beginning to say that I am obviously shopping more consciously and picking out certain pieces. I still have people messaging about fast fashion and things like that. So I feel like, and these were people who had previously enjoyed my Zara and mango hauls. So I feel like it's a change that a lot of people are experiencing right now, kind of that shift in their shopping, which is actually really good because when I think about it now, it kind of makes me feel sick, the amount that I was buying. And I feel like I made that change without actually telling you guys that I'm making this change. So you guys from your end kind of saw it as she's just stopped doing high street and she's going straight to luxury, which is actually not the case. But yeah, like, as I said, I'm gonna sit down with you guys tomorrow and talk about that a bit more, but yeah, that is what the life update is. It's not actually about my life. It is about my life, that's why it's a life update. Okay, I think we're gonna head out now. Should we go now? Yeah. So we are getting ready to leave now. Yeah. Um, we're in the same outfit. Yes, no outfit change for today. But this is quite good because it's like warm, comfy, but still stylish. And I got loads of compliments in this blazer today at the uh, Dear France event. I feel like I haven't worn my Jumbo Chanel bag in so long. And it definitely deserved some love today, so. Yeah, the wind has calmed down a little bit. But we don't know yet. just came back from the show which was actually so good can we go this way yeah um it was such a good show it was for menswear but it's um like it's really all genders like yeah. i could wear the suits and um the designer also believes in like gender neutral clothing anyway but it was men modeling the outfit tailoring is definitely a trend for this year and sheer there was a lot of like sheer blouses and i think that was supposed to be a trend anyway for this year so it's so nice when you go to shows and it's kind of you see those trends I'm trying to block the wind. <laughs> Let me stop. You see those trends reflected in the shows. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a really nice vibe. Now we're off to dinner with... We're going to show you when you get to dinner. Yeah. This a, is a random stranger. Just a random person. We met on the internet. We're going to meet quickly for dinner. It's quite late, 9.30. Yeah, so it's a very so late dinner. It's a very dinner. late dinner. So we're eating up. at the Dorchester. China Tank. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll take you along, guys. So 
we're at dinner now, we're at Chinatown and we're with <laughs> Two nights in Lockwood, yeah, like divided between them. Between, uh, two nights in Lockwood, yeah. yeah. Between Nuri and Prassi, and I, I love can't it. Believe, like, this is a moment, right? Like, together in London. Yes. Tomorrow actually had this exact thing yesterday. Yes. It was that okay. good. <laughs> so good. So it's a really good. sweet corn and crabs, too. Yeah. I'm a very habitual person. If something is good, no need to change it. Hey, this food is amazing, guys. This looks so good, the cashew chicken. Corns and then oyster. The egg fried rice, egg fried rice. Good? Good? <laughs> Hey guys, the mic is back, it got sent. So I've got ready now, we're gonna go off to My Old Dutch, which was a place that me and Tree used to go to all the time. We used to walk through Hyde Park and have breakfast at My Old Dutch. So we're gonna do that, but we're not actually gonna walk because it's, I think it's still a little bit windy outside and it looks like it's gonna rain and it's quite a long walk. We're gonna drive to My Old Dutch and maybe walk around the area there, but I'm so excited, I'm craving pancakes. So this is the perfect place to go. If you haven't been to My Old Dutch and you visit London, you should. They have like savory and sweet pancakes and like loads of different options. And it's one of our favorite places to go to. Okay, so outfit of the day, I'm wearing this top from Under the Stories, this mango puffer, my mango trousers. Um, I'll tell you guys now, I live in these pants. Like I have worn these so much since I got them. They're just so comfortable and like easy to wear and go with everything. And then my boots. I didn't really pack much, um, but I think later on today I'm gonna have to go back home to pick up an outfit because I have another show tomorrow. Um, and I didn't bring all my outfits, so I'm gonna go pick up an outfit for tomorrow and then come back here because we have another night here at this hotel. It literally just started, like, I, I saw from the window, it was like spitting, and then it just went from zero to 100 real quick. We're soaked, it was raining so much. Yeah. Mellow because it's, it's all over TikTok apparently. Well, we've been having it before that, yeah. <laughs> but Nuri's been craving for Mellow, yeah. Um, so it's got some, and it matches your coat. Wait, stand here, it looked nice because you were like matching your oh, wow take, thumbnail. Take picture <laughs> for my IG, okay. We're in Whole Foods. Um, and the first thing we picked up is a pomelo because I have been craving it. This is the fruit that True's mum introduced me to. She always has it every time we go to their house and I'm addicted to it now. And then I saw it on TikTok and it reminded me how much I love it. So I picked up a pomelo. I'm just gonna have a little shop around. I love coming to Whole Foods and just picking up random bits and like seeing what there is. We always go Whole Foods after my old Dutch. Yeah. Now True wants me to take a picture of him here. <laughs> We're in Whole Foods, guys. With our pomelo. <laughs> That's well, the only thing we picked up so far. Yeah, we've just been walking around talking and actually forgot we're in Whole Foods. Yeah, I want something sweet, but True told me I should stop having sugar. Wasabi rice cakes. Yeah, we're in the snack section. But when oh, you, you think they have when you eat food and then you come shopping, I never like. Yeah, it's but good to come shopping when you're full. Yeah. You didn't pick up unnecessary things. This reminds me of New York because this is there's a Whole Foods below our hotel. Oh yeah, in New and York. This is what I had every single day. It's so nice. I forgot which one though. I think you had the ginger aid and no, it was something sweet. Cranberry, cranberry. Hot chocolate break. Cheers to everyone at home. <laughs> and we're at I don't know if that's it, Noops, I think it would be Silent K, right? Canoops. And basically you pick the percentage of chocolate you want and there's like so many different options. So I have the 34% the with sea salt and oat milk. 60% with oat milk. It's very sweet. Yeah, I've burnt my tongue. You drank it so easily, I thought it was like warm. And so I drank it the same way, but it was actually hot. And now my tongue is burnt. Having a burnt tongue is the worst feeling because it's just lasts the whole day. What do you think of this hot chocolate? Really nice. I've always wanted to try this place. Yeah, but there's like loads of options and you can also get iced hot chocolate. Well, it's not hot chocolate, it's with iced chocolate. And like you choose the percentage. But I would recommend the darker because that's not even that dark. It's nice. 
Thirty-four percent is very sweet. Oh, that sea salt. Yeah, the sea salt is nice with this. <laughs> what are we doing right now, Nuri? We're gonna get back to the car and go to the hotel. It's raining so much. Yeah, it's windy and rainy. It's not a good combination. Yeah, this is our London Fashion Week guys. <laughs> We're back. It's still raining outside. Like the weather is so miserable. Yeah. So we're just gonna chill in the hotel. But I really want to go for a walk in the park because the park is so nice. Yeah. This morning would have been perfect, but it started raining as soon as we left. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we would have walked to my old Dutch. Mm. Like we usually do that. Let me show you what we got from Whole Foods. Truffle crisps. These are really good. This brand. Once we accidentally picked up, well, I accidentally picked up the caviar flavor from this brand. It was uh, disgusting. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> I didn't read the label and I just saw the Torres thing and I just picked it up and it was caviar and it was not nice. However, this black truffle flavor is the best. If you like truffle, amazing. This is true. Is something like that one true? Yeah, so this is Synergy Kombucha. First time I tried this was in um, New York. So I always get kombucha wherever I go. And I feel like this one is like the right amount of sugar. Kombucha is basically bacteria, guys. Mm. Good bacteria. Nice. It's basically like first time you have it, it tastes like vinegar. It's one of those things that when you have it once, I think you don't like it. Then you have it a couple of times and it's like you become addicted. And then we showed you guys. <laughs> we got pomelo. Um, I've been craving pomelo, so. Yeah. Normally we wouldn't get fruit if we're staying at a hotel, but because this is like a peeling fruit, I can just stick my hands in and peel it. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up this, which I've never tried before. Bouja bouja. It's the Bouja Bouja Around Midnight Espresso Chocolate Truffles. So I know Bouja Bouja because of their ice cream. That's like really popular. It's like a vegan dairy fruit ice cream they do. I think I've tried it before, but um, I was craving chocolate. I've been craving a lot, obviously. Yeah, the Bouja Bouja Midnight Espresso Chocolate Truffles, and it's vegan, so I thought that would be nice to try. To be honest, I would do a taste test now, but I'm really full after that hot chocolate we had, so we'll do a yeah. taste test when we actually eat it all. So here's a little life update <laughs> of the traumatic Nuri. Trauma traumatic, traumatic or dramatic? Dramatic. 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 But basically, I feel like in the last vlogs I was saying, how guys, I want to have a life update chat. Like, I've changed a lot in the way that I'm shopping, and um, kind of want to speak to you guys about that, and I touched on it briefly yesterday so i think you guys already know what i'm about to like go into um so grab yourself a coffee grab yourself a tea grab yourself a drink i don't know how long this chat is going to be but as you guys know i can basically chat forever but basically like just coming off of the back of what i was saying yesterday is how my shopping has become a little bit more sustainable in the sense that i'm not doing as many hauls as i used to um I feel like when I first started my channel, obviously one of the first videos I did that went viral was my Zara haul and that kind of set off my channel. And then off the back of that, I was just doing loads of hauls because it was something that you guys were enjoying. I obviously love fashion, love clothes. Um, so I was, it was great for me. I was just showing you guys what I was picking up. But then obviously as a consequence of that, I was shopping a lot more than I normally would. And for an average person, you don't need that many clothes. Also from the beginning of my channel, I've always been someone who's into luxury fashion as well but didn't have the budget to buy into a kind of luxury ready to wear. I played on a lot more of the high street element of it on my channel at the start because that was something that I saw a lot of you guys enjoyed. And obviously it makes sense. If your channel is growing because of that, you're gonna keep putting out content for that. Um, but I feel like as of like last year, like near the end of last year, I was feeling like really guilty about how much I was buying. And then obviously last year is when I kind of started making like a good amount of money from my social media and so that obviously allowed me to invest in more luxury ready wear pieces so better quality materials and then i think that's when i started doing more luxury hauls but instead of just showing handbags and shoes which is what i was doing from the beginning of my channel it was more clothing and i think that's why i've stopped kind of doing zara hauls and this is not to say that i'm not gonna ever shop there again because i don't think that's realistic and i think this is a thing with um, like sustainability and talking about sustainability I think a lot of people don't talk about it because as soon as you mention the word sustainability people will literally come for you and then tell you how much you're not sustainable and it's a bit of a scary word to use because I feel like as soon as you mention the word sustainable that means your whole life has to change and you can never shop at certain places ever and they will just bring up everything that you ever do and I think that's like a really bad thing because it kind of puts people off 
talking about sustainability or their thoughts on it and I think that sustainability is definitely something that kind of I feel like we all should make a conscious effort to be a little bit more sustainable um but at the same time I understand that being able to shop sustainably definitely comes from a place of privilege in terms of money in terms of your size um there's loads of different elements and factors to sustainability I'm gonna recommend someone that I found on TikTok um who actually like really helped my um like sustainability thought process andrea chong so she does mindful mondays and i first found her on tiktok and basically what she does is she, she really believes in kind of sustainability for everyone and kind of finding sustainable pieces even in places like sustainable pieces but even in places like zara mango uh, like high street stores and what she does is she checks the materials and the compositions it kind of educates you about what kind of materials you should be investing in and if it's worth the money so like recently i feel like zara has gone really down with the quality of their materials um like the materials they're using are mostly plastics it's definitely not worth the money and zara is not cheap anymore like the prices that zara are offering you can definitely buy something secondhand on Vestiaire or in like a vintage shop that's actually designer and would be the same price as something in Zara. For example, Zara's trench coat ranged around like 100 to 150 pounds. And I bought a vintage, a vintage Dior trench coat in New York for like 100 and something pounds. There are definitely options out there, but it's just about looking, taking the time on eBay. If you, you can literally find vintage Dior trench coats, which would even be cheaper than a brand new trench coat from Zara, which is probably not made of great materials. Oh yeah, this was another point as well. So obviously like I was, t I t so obviously I touched on the point of being able to shop sustainably is obviously like a privilege because shopping sustainably is more expensive. But at the same time, I, when I was doing my Zara hauls, they could easily be like 500 pounds. And that 500 pounds that I spent on that one Zara haul, I could have bought one, actual investment piece with that same amount of money that would probably last me longer and i also think it doesn't make sense for me like obviously now i am able to afford to buy more sustainably to continue buying from fast fashion places um if i can afford not to it doesn't make sense for me to be shopping at really fast fashion places if i can afford and i have the privilege to shop at more high end at the same time i understand people are watching me for inspiration and want to be able to buy the pieces that i'm showing which is why i'm saying i'm still going to be doing hauls but very little of them and kind of more focused on less pieces and more ways of styling them so as for example like my mango haul i was more focused on styling the pieces and focusing on the pieces that I was actually buying rather than buying oh this is cute but yeah and like another point I wanted to make is the fact that I'm changing the way I'm shopping and the the fact that I am like focused more on like investment pieces and spending a little bit more on my wardrobe as opposed to doing non-stop high street hauls is not actually beneficial for me or my channel because I know what performs well on my channel and that is the high street hauls like they get the most amount of views and if I wanted to, I could do a Zara haul every week and I know I would get so many views, I would grow so much faster. Yeah, let me, let me just, let me tell you guys so you guys know, because I feel like a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people, if you're not in the influencing world, you, I don't know how you would know it. So it's kind of good to know. But basically, in this whole world of like influencing and fashion, fast fashion brands, high street brands, they have the most budget, they pay the most. Luxury brands don't even pay you most of the time. Um, most of it is gifting, loaned, like you actually very rarely get paid by luxury brands to do advertisements obviously there are occasions when you do yeah like i just i it's hard for me because i know for me personally like in terms of my job this is not i'm not gonna have a financial gain like i said i've already dropped a couple of brands who i was getting good amount of income from and but for me personally like those brands i don't shop with anymore I feel guilty about shopping there so it doesn't feel right for me now to show you guys and like advertise this brand to you i've definitely made a change in terms of like my job and work wise and for me that's it's not like i'm not gaining financially by making this change but it's a change more so for like the world and the planet and it just i just feel really guilty about kind of shopping now at certain places so that's why i made that change but yeah like there are still brands that i'm going to share with you guys so yeah keep an eye keep an eye out for those kind of videos and that's kind of what i wanted to say i feel like this was probably a bit rambly because i didn't really plan out my points um but yeah basically the whole point is that i am going to be doing less high street hauls like i was doing before i am very much more conscious now of my shopping habits and kind of materials i'm buying and investment pieces and i hope you guys can still enjoy this channel and get inspiration from what i'm showing you and yeah that's it that's all i had to say really 
uh, I feel glad that that's this off my chest because it was sitting on my chest for a while now because I feel like I made this change on YouTube but I didn't really tell you guys so I kind of stopped doing all these hauls and then you guys were obviously waiting and asking me when I'm doing my next haul and I kind of just shifted that without actually letting you guys know so it feels good to kind of let you guys know what's been going on in my mind kind of my thought process behind it why I've made these changes and also so you kind of know what to expect on this channel moving forward so yeah that's it that's the life update. Oh my god, the battery's gonna die. Okay, let me end this now. So Nuri has kindly, kindly joined. Kindly has, jo has kindly joined us for the taste test. Yeah, I like the red one. The one that yeah, your so mum gets. Is that the one your mum gets? The red one. Yeah. So we get like a red pomelo from the, the Chinese supermarket. Yeah, True's mum. She gets the best ones. Basically on TikTok, they dip it into um, soy sauce and vinegar. Oh. Mix. How was that? How was it? It doesn't taste like coffee. Oh. It just tastes like um, cacao powder. There was really no point us booking this hotel. Yeah. <laughs> but it was because yesterday was supposed to be really hectic, my schedule, but I didn't go to a lot of things. Good morning everyone, I thought I would do my outfit of the day. I'm going to my first show of the day and this is what I'm wearing. I have my Dion Lee top on. I feel like I've worn this top so much. Um, it's got cutouts and then my Cinder Bay white trousers, of course. Uh, my Chanel trainers, my Bottega mini Jodie in the color Kiwi and then my Nanushka coat. Very simple and we've just packed up our stuff. So we're ready to check out and then go to the show and then we're having dim sum with True's family. What are we doing right now, Nuri? So we're gonna try and shoot this outfit. Currently we're trying to find a location to shoot this outfit, a street star. I think here is nice. I've got quite, my, it's quite my pap gear out, the flash, so yeah. it looks high end. We tried shooting some content, but it was very windy and I got frustrated and it's cold because I'm wearing cutouts. Um, but we're on the way to the show now. It's 10 minutes to go. So I think we're gonna walk towards the show now. It's in the TikTok space where we were at last year when I did my TikTok talk for last London Fashion Week. I think a lot of the shows happen here actually. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk now to go to the show. So guys, I quickly went home and got changed into comfy clothes because we're at dim sum with True's family and that cutout top is not very family appropriate. Um, so I just put like a jumper on, something warm and we're gonna go and have some dim sum at Yiban. Yiban is our go-to dim sum place and it's always packed, but they managed to get us a table. True's parents came here a bit earlier, so I'm gonna head off now. It's still quite windy today. Like my hair is was straight, but it's not anymore. So how'd you find the show? It was really good actually, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun and playful. And any, this... any new trends for this year? Uh, cats. There was lots of cats, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be it using really... our cats in our shoots from I thought now. the designer was really like playful and like fun with it and it was a really good show. 